Hey everyone, welcome back to the Makeup Chair. Today I want to show you guys how to create this spotlight eye using greens. The great thing about greens is it's quite a universal color, but it does work great for hazel eyes or amber eyes to help them really pop. It also works on green eyes and brown eyes as well, provided there's a little bit of depth in there. We're changing up the technique and using a spotlight this time as well, so I hope that you guys enjoy it. I'm definitely going to check out the looks from last week because so many of you guys recreated the blue look. Cannot wait to see them. I've already seen a lot of them already and you did a great job, so I hope that you recreate this as well and let's get started. So I've already done a little bit of work on this side just to test out the colors more than anything, but don't judge it because it's not finished. I literally just threw them on. And I've already primed this side as well, just to make sure we have a nice blank canvas to work on. Really important to prime the lids when you are using color, just to make sure that it has something to hold on to. So let's start off with the shadows today. I created this little palette of colors for us. Pretty similar to what we've been doing this whole time. We've just added in green. We have our highlight, our mid-tone, two lid shades. So our two lid shades are mint green and the darker green. But as always, we're gonna have fade shades in there. I might throw in a little bit of glitter. We will see. Another really beautiful palette, if you are looking to buy one that's already made, is this one. The eyeshadows are really creamy, really easy to blend. They look gorgeous. Pair this with a bronzer, and then you'll be good to go. And for brushes, as always, we're going to be using a bunch of different brushes. Highly recommend getting the nine-piece set by Blank Canvas Cosmetics, because this has all of the brushes that you could possibly need in it. You won't need anything else for a Monday Makeup Lesson. I'll only be using variations of this collection. So if you like my Monday Makeup Lessons, this is what you want. I'm going to start off with the framework, first of all, and that means using our mid-tone. I'm going to take a blending brush to apply it, but I'm also going to keep a clean blending brush handy, and both of these are in that set. If you don't have a good mid-tone, you can always use a bronzer. It won't be as pigmented, but it'll still work. And we're going to work from the outer edge and blend in. Today we're going to do a spotlight eye, but obviously the placement is really up to you. We're just mostly going through the colors, but I thought that I'd do something a little different and do a spotlight eye today. So you're going to start on the outer edge, work all the way in. A spotlight eye is basically like a smoky eye, except you have a lighter shade on the center of the lid. If you think of it that way, it just makes it so much easier. I'm holding the brush in the center of the handle. I'm working from the outer edge and blending inwards, over and back, keeping the eyes open so that we can hit this area here. If I close my eyes, it might change the way that I apply it. So keep your eyes open, look slightly down in a mirror, and just work over and back from the outer edge to that inner corner. Leave a little bit of a gap just underneath the brows for your brow highlight. But if you have hooded eyes, you wanna like hit that area just here to get rid of that fleshy tone. And that will kind of camouflage the hoodedness for you. And I'm holding the brush a little further down on my face and sort of hitting up in order to get it to be nice and high, but quite soft at the same time. Now that we have worked over and back on the top, we then wanna work on this inner and outer corner. So these two areas here, need a little bit of this product just as a base. So go ahead and apply a little bit on this outer corner and a little bit less on that inner corner. Leave the center of the lid free from any color. So it's sort of like an N shape like that. So it's like going up and over and down. Then I'm gonna take my clean blending brush and just soften out the edges making sure it's nice and smooth. Hold the brush a little further down the handle and this will lessen the pressure for you, give you a softer effect. Your clean bending brush really shouldn't touch the skin too much. It should just be like the lightest little feathery strokes. Next, we are gonna take our fade shade. So our fade shade is basically to give you that pro finish because sometimes all the blending in the world won't give you that pro finish and you want something that's a little lighter than the shade that you were using before to give you that grading effect. I'm gonna take the clean blending brush. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of product just on the tip of it and we're gonna go around the edges. If you ever want me to help you figure out why a makeup look didn't work, you can always send it to me on my Instagram or Twitter. I'm holding the brush kind of far down on the handle, but I have quite a bit of control over it, but I'm keeping the brush really low down on the face, so it's by like lip level, and I'm just gonna go around the edges. So you're basically hitting this area where the mid-tone will then meet up with the brow highlight. That's the area that you wanna do, somewhere in between those two shades. Same on this side. I just filled in that bottom part of my brows, and now I'm gonna go in with the highlighter shade. I really need to get my brows done, but I'm letting them grow up because my friend Sarah just started this new brow place and I want to go. So I'm going to let my brows grow and then get them done by her. Highlighter is on. So that's all kind of our framework done. Now we can move on to the actual color. So we are going to start off with the darker shade of the green and we might mix in a little bit of the lighter shade just to make sure it doesn't go too dark on the inner edge because I like it to be dark out here, 
but in here I feel like it should be a mix between the two shades. We're gonna use a pencil brush for this because I find a pencil brush gives you a lot of control over that outer and inner edge. I'm gonna start bouncing this on this outer edge and you see how my hand is at eye level? and keep it really close to those lashes. So don't do this because it'll bring it up too high. Keep it at eye level, like nose or eye level, and just tap it on this outer edge to begin with. Leave that inner corner free from anything at the moment. And then you can do the inner corner, but I'm gonna mix up the mint and the deep green for the inner corner so it doesn't go too dark. Tap it, tap it, tap it. How are you guys going with this? Are you managing it? It is a little tricky, it takes a bit of time. As I work from this outer edge and bring it in, I'm getting a little bit more of the mint green on this inner edge, but it's still a mix between the dark green and the mint green. But that way you get almost like a grading effect as you work in. But the best way I find to get a good base is to apply your highlighter first and then the mint green over the top. So it's kind of like a soft cut crease, but you're cutting the crease with a highlighter instead. So we're gonna use a highlighter shade on a flat brush and we're just gonna tap that over that center point. See how much brighter that makes it? And then you can go in with your mint green and just tap that over the top of the highlighter. Can you see the difference between this side and this side? We wouldn't just leave it like this. This has been blended ever so slightly. So you're gonna take your clean blending brush and what you're gonna do is sweep this outer edge in over the top of it and the inner edge over the top of it as well. And that will just kind of fade it out ever so slightly for you. And I'm holding the brush in the center but I'm keeping it low down on the face and just sweeping in. So there's nothing on this brush. It's just working with whatever's on the lid. So you can leave it like this, add liner, lashes, and all that kind of stuff, or you can add a little bit of glitter, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my Dazzle Lock. It's the best glue ever. I'm gonna tap it over the area that you want to and leave it on for a couple of seconds. I think it's 15 to 20 seconds. Press the glitter over the top. Look at that, it's so pretty. Now, if you want to, you can always like tone down the glitter just by applying a little bit more of that eyeshadow over the top. And the glitter then will still show through, but it'll just be a little lighter. So that is pretty much the eyeshadows on. All you have to do then is just finish off with whatever way you like to, liner, lashes, mascara, rest of your makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. So just a quick change. I did the rest of my makeup and added some falsies, lots of mascara. And the only other thing that I did differently to my eyes is I put a little bit of that mint green just underneath the lashes. If you wanna go for more of an evening look or a little bit more drama, use the darker green and put that underneath. It adds more of a smoky feel. The rest of the face then, I have the blush, which is the same color as the crease. And then also this lip color which is as close as I could prob probably get it. This is the Rimmel 700 Be My Baby, but I started off with this, which is what I was wearing through the whole video. Human and Kind Orange Lip Balm. Feels amazing on the lips and it kind of preps it for any products that you might put on afterwards. So that you guys enjoy that, definitely let me know if you recreate it. I'm gonna go through all of the blue ones already because I got a few to kind of catch up on, but I love seeing your looks, so definitely send them in and I'll check you guys back on Wednesday, but I'll see you next Monday for another look. Bye guys.